because it's just so easy to throw on. Look at that. Three, two, one. And stay tuned till the end because I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners at the end. Welcome, beautiful people, to the what month are we in? April vlog. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys have had a fantastic month so far. I am having an amazing April. So, so much has happened to me. I wouldn't say so much in terms of um, quantity of things, but like little things that I've just been waiting on that have finally come to fruition if you have not watched my last vlog where i shared our citizenship ceremony with you guys and shared that we had finally become canadian citizens i will link that here or here for you to watch so i applied for our passports after because we do have a big family trip coming up um later on this year and we needed to start like finalizing that preparation for that trip so the passports finally came in. I'm so excited. It just makes that trip all the more feasible now. And then a little, some, a couple other things here and there also happened that just made me so happy, so thankful, and so grateful for life this month. And I think, I think, I'm in this great mood because it's spring. Let me know. Do I have any other fellow spring lovers out there? Like before I moved to Canada, I could have sworn that of the four seasons available in North America, fall was my favorite. That, if you had asked me six, seven, ten years ago, that's what I would have said. But now, after having moved to Southern Alberta, spring, you cannot, like, I love spring. Every time spring comes, even though we're supposed to get snow next week, but fingers crossed, it's only mild mixed with rain. But every time spring comes around, there's just this, my mood just lifts. I'm just so happy. I'm just, ah, thankful that old man winter is behind me. But anyways speaking of spring and changing seasons let me flip you guys around i am in the process of um switching out the clothes in my wardrobe so i have packed up my winter wardrobe or clothes that i know i'm not going to wear during spring and summer those are my nigerian traditional outfits i brought this one out because i'm going for a party today and this is what i'm going to be wearing more about that later and then this is what is left for me to hang up in my closets this is outerwear that's going to my bedroom so i've put out most of my spring clothes um and then i just have this bit left and yeah this oh my closet is like clothes everywhere but it is the season so this is all the things that i'm planning to take for my trip at least in the year so i'm just kind of gradually pulling them from different places and new things I've bought and just dumping them there. So I need to get out my suitcase. It's not too early. Trust me. It seems like it's four months away, but the way those four months are going to fly by, summer months fly so fast. So it's not too early for me to start packing. But anyways, that is what I'm up to this morning. I am prepping to go for a party. It's a 40th birthday party. I'm about to go get my makeup done. And so I just threw on this onesie let me show you guys so this is it i got it off amazon it's just like a one piece um romper and then i'm just gonna throw on because like when i get my makeup done i'm also gonna get my scarf tied my ghillie it's going to be tied by the makeup artist so she's gonna beat my face and she's going to tie my head tie so i need to wear something that i'll be able to take off um from the top down instead of over my head so it doesn't ruin my makeup and it doesn't ruin the head tie as well so this is what i'm wearing and because it's still a bit chilly outside i'm just going to throw over this hoodie i'm gonna come back home after getting my makeup done um and then get dressed but this is this is really how i'm going to go out like do i look how do i look maybe i should put on something on my head right i have this that i recently got from shein if you watched my Instagram reels. I've I did a 30 days of um spring styling throughout the month of April and my Instagram handle is at yellow factor. If you're not already following me, go watch that those reels. Go follow me on Instagram, watch those reels. So this featured a lot there. It's a wig, but it's not like a full hair of head. It's just attached to the hat and I love it cuz it's just so easy to throw on. Look at that. <laughs> so easy to throw on and it looks like i have hair wow and this is going on my head um i have two purses 
that I'm contemplating using this one this pink one from Aldo and then this uh, purple one deep berry from coach I put on the beads chain just to like make it a little bit glam but I can't decide which goes better with the gilly I mean both of them will do well the gilly is kind of like a lilac type purple both of them will do well but I'm not sure yet okay so I'm off now and I'll see you guys when I get back and I am back home what do you guys think about my makeup so this is my gilly or my head tie and then this is the look now I just need to get dressed and go. My sister's already waiting for me. So yeah, I will see you guys there. Stop We're at the party. Then I also will come now. Stop fighting. My sister's coming. You ready? Actually, no, we're not ready. <laughs> so back to back. <laughs> Ready? Ready. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Three, two, one. It's another beautiful day. This is kind of the day where I didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> I just wanted to stay under my covers and chill. But when I finally convinced myself to get up, I have been so productive and gotten so much done in the last hour. That just makes me happy. So, yesterday's party was nice. It was a good time out. I'm glad I eventually went, even though I didn't want to. But I'm glad I made it eventually. Um, I spent the entire time eating dancing and talking like if when i wasn't eating i was dancing when i wasn't dancing i was talking to me that's all i need <laughs> to have a good time out so it was really fun and so i just finished well not finished but i just tidied up my closet a little bit i'll flip you guys around and show you what i did so i finished packing up my winter clothes there's all they're all in there i'm so happy i was able to make it all fits into one bin. Anything that didn't go in there is going to donations. I've packed a garbage bag full of um, donation clothes ready to go. These need to go under my bed. I have two bins under my bed for clothes that I don't want to get rid of, but I'm not currently wearing. So that if I bring them back out into my rotation in a year or two years, they feel like they're brand new. Does that make sense? So I love using that trick. So these are going under my bed. I freed up so much space on my shelves by getting rid of boxes. Like, why am I holding on to these boxes? Boxes, receipts, not receipts of my handbags. I don't get rid of those, but receipts of stuff I bought like from Walmart, Arden. And I just hold on to them. Why? 
so I got I'm getting rid of all of this and that freed up so much space in my closet system where I can now put this where this was in my bedroom before it's for my um comforter set it's just an empty bag with the two um decorative pillows that I don't use so just put that there like I look at this empty spot like all of this was boxes before so now I just have that and then all my spring summer clothes are out and then my longer dresses and um, pants. Maybe next time I'll tackle there. So this is the box that holds all the receipts of my handbags. It also holds um, ribbons and uh, cards for my essays, that kind of thing. This, I need to tackle this situation. So yeah, I'm very, very happy I got that done. So that's it for this morning. And now I need to go film two YouTube videos, film 10 reels for instagram and just so that for the next 10 days i'm not thinking of what to post i have everything ready edited and scheduled on the instagram app. so that's what i need to do right now Whew, let's go you wouldn't believe me if i told you but yesterday my room was actually tidy my closet was tidy but it's messy <laughs> it's messy again it's messy again today but for good reason because i am packing for a trip i'm going to europe in august i've probably told you guys before and you're probably already sick of me telling you but i'm so excited so i have all my clothes on the floor let me show you so i have clothes all over the floor and i have a little helper okay <laughs> i have a little helper who's helping me figure out what we're going to wear for this trip and look at the mess we made <laughs> I mean, your girl has to like, your girl has to be giving every yeah, single giving hour. Too. I know <laughs> every single hour of this trip. So that's what I'm up to. Maybe when I am eventually packing my suitcase and I decide on what outfits to take, I will definitely film all the outfits that I wear on the trip. I would definitely vlog that, but I might also vlog when I'm actually packing for the trip. And look, I got her nails done so cute love it for spring but yeah that's what i'm up to this weekend and stay tuned till the end because i'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners at the end of the video so i will see you guys when i'm done so from one party to the other i am getting ready to go for a baby shower i'm already ready really i am actually about to head out the door just need to put on some perfume this is one of my all-time favorite scents by the fireplace by Maison Magella. This is replica. Um, I stumbled upon this by accident and now I love it. Like this bottle is almost over. I need to go to Sephora to get another one. But I'm going to use this Oscar de la Renta perfume first. This one smells like baby powder. So I kind of like to use it as a base because it's almost like I just had a shower with some nice baby soap, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going for a baby shower. I'm wearing pink and blue just because um, and I feel like this month has been from one thing to the other for me which is really nice like I really I've had a great April that's all I can say I've had an awesome month and I hope you all have as okay. well Timmy from the future here I just got back from the baby shower and I received a sheen order that I placed last week sheen's delivery and shipping and delivery has become so fast these days it's like before it used to take two to three weeks for stuff to get to me but now a week and it's here anyways that's beside the point i wanted to show you guys this dress because ah i am blown away so i've been looking for a dinner dress that is this where the style is kind of different i don't want like a traditional type dress just long satiny silk spaghetti strap or you know that kind of thing i wanted something to have like something that will have like different elements and unique type well not unique but just elements that you, you don't see all the time in a dress right and in a color that you don't see like not your black or your red and so i follow a an influencer on instagram her name is vanessa giuliani she posted about this beautiful green dress what shade of green this is like a mint green um it's evening already is almost 9 p.m so i've lost daylight and the lighting is not great so please bear with me but she posted this mint green dress that she found on amazon she had been wanting it for a while i think she saw it on some other um more high-end more high street um website for about 300 dollars canadian and then she found it on amazon 
for 60 plus dollars Canadian. And I'm like, that dress has to be on Shein. It has to be on Shein. And I found it. Not only did I find it, I found it for $22 Canadian. The exact same dress. Now I'm not going to argue about whether it's the same fabric or not, but the quality of this dress that I am wearing, this just reinforces the fact that if you want to go high, go luxury. If you're not going to do luxury, there's no middle ground in fashion these days. Just go low, okay? And I'm not talking bags. For bags, it's different. For leather goods, it's different. But for clothes, if you want to go high, go luxury. If you want to go low, all the fast fashion brands, in my opinion, are the same. Zara has things that Shein has, and Shein has them for less the price. And they're the same things. Same thing with Amazon, okay? You can argue with me all you want. That's what I think. But this dress, guys, let me, let me change. Ah, just look at the dress. Oh my gosh. Like what? Can you see this dress? Can you see, like the ruching here just hides my belly. It hides my mom pouch without me even trying so hard. I mean, you can still see it, especially like if I turn to the side. But what? And look at the bottom of the dress. And then by the time I wear heels, oh my gosh. I need you guys to be able to see everything. Well, look at this. Look at this. And then with my Dior clutch, what? What? <laughs> and I'm going to wear like clear heels. Like I think this was how it was on the model. And yeah, again, I'm not going to wear this bra with this dress, but oh my gosh. I'm just so excited. I got it in two sizes because I wasn't sure. I got a large and a medium. This is the medium, fits like a glove. I haven't even tried the large, but I will try the large again, just for the bust area. But I thought I would share it with you. <laughs> and of course, as usual, link will be in the description box below. Thank you to everyone who participated in my giveaway on my one of my previous videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. That was really, really fun. For me to do so i have picked two winners one person got the correct answer which was red and this person did not get the correct answer but they're a winner still everybody is a winner so i'll reach out to both of you and send your gift cards your way um i do not have your contact information i don't have an email for me for you and i don't have an instagram handle someone mentioned that youtube was deleting instagram handles that they were leaving in the comments so i'm really sorry about that but please post a comment on this video with your email address so that i can reach out to you via email or send me a message on instagram my instagram handle is at yellow sparks joy i have your information so i will be reaching out to you pretty soon thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you in this one bye